What's the main difference here? One's FG, one's SG. That's it, end of the video. No, I'm kidding. Hey, what's going on guys? This is YJ Football. My name is Yaz and if you're new to the channel, we do football boot unboxings, football boot reviews and football tutorials as well. So if you like any of that content, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the brand new Nike Mercula Vapor 13 and it's going to be in the SG Pro version. And we're also going to be comparing the FG sole plate on the Superflies we unboxed earlier to these SG Pro Mercurial Vapors as well. And we've got the same Nike box here. I actually love pulling this tab here. It's probably one of the best parts of unboxing a Nike football boot. So without further ado, let's get started. And the colorway we got these in would be the same, exact same as the Superflies we unboxed. It's going to be that um, launch colorway blue. And these are actually Jono's football boots. Jono's um, Mercurial Vapor. Oh my god, I'm stuck struggling with this again. Oh no, I think I got it. That was a lot better than on my Superfly video, I just got to say. Okay, like I said, these boots are Jono's boots. So we got them in a size 10.5, which is one higher than my regular 9.5. And we did get the SG Pro, so it does have an anti-clog logo over here in green. So that's pretty cool. And let's open these up. And just because it is SG Pro anti-clog again, you do have a label up here that says works best when wet. We'll talk about the anti-clog technology a little bit further down the video as well. It looks a bit crumpled here, but I'm flipping these up. And they still look just as amazing as the Superflies. Here they are guys, they look really good. And I personally really like the SG Pro sole plate as well. It just looks a bit more aggressive. I think it's because Ronaldo used to wear the SG Pro as well all the time. So they, they look really good. I'll just quickly get everything else out of the box. And because it is SG Pro, it does come with metal studs, six metal studs on each boot. And we do have a stud wrench here. They look really good. Okay. And just like the Superflies as well, you have the really cool blue Mercurial boot bag, which is a big white Mercurial logo on the front. I love Nike's boot bags. I'm pretty sure you've heard me say in many of the videos, they look really good. And this colorway is just really clean. I love it. And yeah, it's really cool. Nice to flex your boots when you're not even wearing them. So, And because it is the SG Pro version, you do get a set of replaceable studs. And they look really cool. They're sort of like a really dark obsidian black paint and black tint on the studs. They look really, really nice. They look amazing. They look beautiful. Love this colorway. And the low cut silhouette actually looks really nice. I was really torn between getting the Superflies and Vapors for myself. I ended up getting the Superflies as you, as you guys probably already know. Just to quickly summarize what Nike have done differently with the new Mercurial Vapors is that they've basically changed the upper from the previous version. Nike have incorporated what they call a high tenacity yarn with their regular flyknit construction. This high tenacity yarn incorporated into the flyknit allows them to create a softer upper at the same time still has that same responsiveness that you expect from a Nike Mercurial Vapor. On the previous version, the flyknit material they used was a little bit on the stiffer side, so it was, probably wasn't the most comfortable to wear initially until you break them in. But from what I've heard in my experience with the Superfly 7s, so far they've been really, really comfortable. So now we're going to compare the difference between the Vapor and the Superfly. I go over all of the kind of graphics and all the details of the boots in my Superfly 7 unboxing video, so make sure you watch that guys. I'm not asking you to just to get more watch time, actually watch it, I just talk about a lot more stuff in that video. I'll just go into a little bit more detail behind the tech and the changes between the previous generation and this generation of materials, whereas in this video we're just going to be focusing on the difference between the Vapor 13s and the Superfly 7, and also the difference between the FG Soul Plate and the SG Pro. If you take a look at these side by side, the only difference, the only single difference between these two boots, apart from the SG and F FG Soul Plate, is that the Vapor is a low cut football boot and the Superfly is a high cut football boot with a dynamic fit collar. The Superfly just has a little bit of material around the ankle and gives you a little bit of like compressive feel around your ankle and in my opinion they sort of give like a feeling that the boot is a little bit more of an extension of your leg and the Vapors do that to some extent but you feel that a little bit more on the Superfly in my opinion anyway but literally the exact same boot it's basically what which one you prefer which look you like better than the other. So if you're a fan of the low cut look, obviously go for the Vapor. If you're a fan of the big collar on it, the high cut look, 
go for the Superfly. The exact same boot guys. It doesn't matter which one you choose, it's just personal preference. But even if you choose the Vapor over the Superfly, I promise you you're going to get insane amount of performance and you're going to enjoy it. The only thing worth noting about these two different boots is that on the collar there, just above the tongue, is a Superfly 360 branding as you can see. And on the Vapor obviously it's going to be a Vapor 360 logo there. So next I'm going to go through the difference between the FG Soulplate and SG Pro side by side as you can see. Basically the FG version has a really cool wearable finish as well as you can see from there. It's got a very cool Aurora kind of look to it. Looks very premium. And you've got four bladed studs there as well. And all these studs are the same kind of arrowhead or chevron type shape. Okay, on the SG Pro version, they've actually swapped out these four main studs on the forefoot with these metal studs. And this, in this, in this outer bladed stud as well over here, they swapped that for a shallower version. I think just to balance out the aggressiveness of this sole plate, especially because it is a mixture of the metal studs and the bladed studs. They've kept the same kind of shape in the stud in the middle, but it's actually a little bit longer than the FG version. And they've also added these support studs behind these metal studs over here. They're quite long as well. And these are non-existent on the FG version, as you can see. And on the rear of the sole plate, you have, instead of having the arrowhead shapes there, on the FG version, you have straight bladed studs, very simple. And you have metal studs on the heel as well, which is really different from the FG version. And although both do have that split sole plate design where the forefoot is split from the rear, on same on both of them, the rear portion is actually a little bit larger on the SG Pro. As you can see, it's a little bit longer and it also doesn't have that cut out in the center of the sole plate, that portion of the sole plate as well. And just putting away the Superfly, we'll actually talk about anti-clog technology on these versions of SG Pro for the new Mercurials. On previous generations and other football boots by Nike, they've had a massive, big anti-clog sole plate that's in black that covered the whole sole plate of the boot and in my opinion it was just a little bit heavy and a little bit clunky feeling compared to having the actual split sole plate design and we've actually seen all the pros sponsored by Nike getting a split sole SG version of those boots like the Mercurials like I'm pretty sure Ronaldo was wearing a pair of those as well and it was really cool that they made those specifically for the pros but it was kind of sad that we weren't getting them in as the public so so I'm pretty happy with Nike for actually bringing these out to the public and letting all of us experience the, the split sole plate version of the SG Pro. At the same time, they've still managed to keep the anti-clock technology on the sole plate. It's just applied to, if you can see closely, it's like a matte kind of finish across the middle of the sole plate there. And you can't really see here, it's because it's the white, but it feels really matte, it feels really smooth. And what happens is when you actually apply water to it, it sort of feels sticky. But what it does is when you actually play in the mud and the grass, the stuff that normally sticks onto the bottom of your shoe and covers it, just kind of wipes right off like they literally you touch it and it'll fall off so by the end of your game or by the end of your training you look at your soul plate is hardly anything on it like 98 percent 99 percent is probably going to be clear let's say 90 percent right i'm not going to be I'm not going to vouch for that but if you compare it to like a normal fg boot that's gonna just there's just going to be a whole layer of mud on it and i think we did end up comparing my fg versions of the phantom venoms with jono's sg pro versions and he literally had nothing on the bottom of his sole plate by the end of our kick around. All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 13. I keep forgetting if it's 13 or 12, it's just way too many, but these obviously look really cool. I love them. Even the low cup version looks really cool, even though I got the super flies for myself. Jono's gonna be probably waiting for me to give these to him after this video. So they're really awesome, and I'm really happy that Nike decided to do an SG Pro anti clog with the split sole plate, as you can see here. They look really cool and we'll be testing them out hopefully soon. I love my Superflies as well. Let me know what, what type of pitch you guys play on and which one of these you'd be picking up for yourself, the SG Pro or the FG. If you want to see more comparison videos, or if you want to see more unboxing videos, make sure you subscribe to YJ Football and hit the notifications button, the little bell, to turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. Hit the like on the video if you enjoyed this and let me know, let me know which one you'll be wearing. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.